I thank you and I give the floor to the Centre for Inquiry. Madam Vice President, last month Raif Badawi, who founded a Saudi website dedicated to fostering debate on religion and politics and called on his country to respect freedom of religion, belief, expression and women's rights, was charged with insulting Islam. He was sentenced to 10 years in prison, a thousand lashes and a fine of 1 million Saudi rials. Badawi was first jailed for seven years in 2012 for violating Saudi Arabia's IT law and insulting religious authorities through his online writings and hosting those of others on his website. In a separate case, Mr. Badawi's lawyer, Walid Abu al khair was jailed for his human rights activism. Mr. Badawi is a prisoner of conscience who is guilty of nothing more than daring to create a public forum for discussion and peacefully exercising the right to freedom of expression. Corporal there is punishment, a, I have to interrupt. such as flogging. I, I have to interrupt you. There is a point of order. There is a point of order, Saudi Arabia. You. Saudi Arabia, you have the floor for the point of order. Thank you very much, Madam President. We believe that what is being said by this organization is completely outside of the mandate of this report and what of the NGOs have to say. It has not addressed the subject of Mr. Naif Awadi, and for that reason, we would request that they stop their intervention. I thank you. I see United States. Thank you, Madam Vice President. We highlight that the United States firmly believes that accredited NGOs must be permitted to speak in the Council. Though member states, including the United States, may occasionally disagree with the content of NGO statements, it is essential that civil society voices be heard in an atmosphere of open expression. Without addressing the substance of the speaker's statement, we are of the opinion that we have, what we have heard in the intervention so far is indeed addressed to the subject matter at hand before the Council, which is item four, human rights situations that require the Council's attention. Madam Vice President, we respectfully ask for you to allow the speaker to finish her presentation. Thank you. I thank you. I see Ireland. Uh, thank you, Madam Vice President, and very much along the lines of the United States who have just spoken. We think it's important to respect the rights of NGOs to take the floor to express their views, irrespective of our position on the substance of the statement. We believe that statements shouldn't be interrupted on the grounds that an NGO mentions concrete examples of human rights violations where there's a link to the agenda item, and we think that's the case in this situation. We ask you to allow the NGO to finish her statement. Thank you. I thank you, and I give the floor to France. France attaches a great deal of importance to the respect for upholding the right for NGOs to take the floor. This is part of the institutional package of the Council. NGOs must be able to express themselves in the conditions uh, set out dis irrespective of their positions. It's very important that their interventions are not therefore interrupted. I thank you and I give the floor to Canada. Thank you very much, Madam President. Uh, I'll be very brief. Canada agrees with the statements that have been made by the United States, by Ireland, and by France. Uh, we firmly believe that accredited NGOs must be permitted to speak at the Council, and we believe that this NGO should be permitted to finish their statement. Thank you. I thank you. I just would like to point out that this is the agenda item four, during which speakers are expected to raise issues or comment on human rights situations that require Council's attention, including a human rights situation at a country level. Therefore, I would give the floor back to the speaker. Thank you. 
Corporal punishment, such as flogging, violates laws set by the Convention on Torture, which prohibits torture or other cruel, inhuman, or degrading treatment or punishment. We call on Saudi Arabia, as a newly elected member of this Council, to release Raif Badawi immediately and unconditionally, and drop any pending charges against him and others for blasphemy, insulting Islam or apostasy. Uh, I'm sorry, I have to interrupt you. I have a point of order, Saudi Arabia. Thank you, Madam President. The Saudi Arabian delegation has to insist on this. The accusations coming from this NGO vis-à-vis -vis Saudi Arabia are unacceptable and we would absolutely refuse this subject being addressed under item 4. Thank you. ICUS. Thank you, Madam Vice President. I would like to reiterate that we firmly believe accredited NGOs must be permitted to speak in this council. We understand the scope of item 4 uh, to be broad. We believe it is appropriate to use specific examples or countries as relevant examples of the issues that we are discussing. Madam Vice President, we would respectfully ask for you to allow the speaker to finish her presentation. Thank you. I thank you. Um, I should repeat that it is the practice in the Council that a specific situation of concern to participants is brought to the attention of the Council. And I would encourage the delegation of Saudi Arabia to use the right of reply in order to address the statement. Now I would ask the speaker to continue with her statement. Thank you. As an elected member of this Council, Saudi Arabia is obliged to uphold the highest standards in the promotion and protection of human rights and fully cooperate with the Council. If it is to retain any credibility as a member, we urge it to reform its laws so as to protect freedom of religion. Saudi Arabia, you have a point of order. Thank you, Madam President. Saudi Arabia was elected at 160 uh, votes as a member of this council. Thank you. I thank you. Now I would like the, is the speaker to continue with her statement. Thank you. If it is to retain any credibility as a member, we urge Saudi Arabia to reform its laws so as to protect freedom of religion, belief and expression, seize the use of corporal punishment and repeal Article 1 of its Interior Ministry's degree defining atheism as terrorism. Thank you. I thank you for your statement.